With the Tsukuhime remake finally out in Japan and Melty Blood Type Luna's release on the horizon, I'm sure there's quite a few people wondering if the original Tsukuhime is even worth reading. As someone who read the original to prepare for the remake and to understand Melty Blood lore, I believe that the original Tsukuhime is still worth reading on its own, but there are a few caveats. Let me preface this by saying I'm not here to give an end-all be-all answer. I want to provide multiple options for people looking into Tsukuhime because, to be honest, this visual novel is not for everybody. People have different reasons for wanting to experience this story and may not have the time nor desire to read it in full. Let's start by addressing the elephant in the room. Why would you read the original Tsukuhime when the remake is out? There's a few reasons why. The first being, the creators of Tsukuhime, Type Moon, and their 20 years of operating have only ever officially translated one of their products to Western audiences, that game being Fate Grand Order. And I just want to give a special shout out to y'all Fate Grand Order players, because you single-handedly funded the Tsukuhime remake and arguably Melty Blood Type Lumina, so thank you. All jokes aside, an official translation for the remake might not ever exist, and there most likely won't be a fan translation for another year or two, so your best bet is to go for the source material at the moment. On top of the lack of a proper translation, as far as I know, the Tsukuhime remake is a brand new story that adds and removes key plot points and characters to the story, similar to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Since I haven't read it personally, I can't say whether or not this is a valid point, but based on the Type Lumina roster, I think it's safe to assume that this is a completely different story. The last reason you should consider reading the original over the remake is because the remake only covers two of the five, potentially six routes of the original Tsukuhime. Basically, the remake only covers the far side routes, Arkiwit and Seal's routes, but not the near side routes, Akiha, Kohaku, and Hisui's routes. Luckily, a sequel to the remake was announced and will cover the near side routes with a new route dedicated to Satsuki potentially being added. As exciting as that is, it might be another year or two until that's released and we have to add another year or two for an English translation. To be completely honest, in the original visual novel, the majority of the far side routes, in my opinion, were nothing special in terms of storytelling. If you don't want to invest a lot of time and you just want to understand the basic plot of Tsukuhime, I suggest you just read the Tsukuhime manga. The manga does a great job of adapting Arkiwit's route while incorporating the important aspects of Seal's route. Where I believe the original visual novel truly shines with no other alternative is the near side routes. These routes single-handedly are worth reading the visual novel for. The near side routes have less of a focus on the vampire storyline and more on the mysteries of Hisui and Kohaku's backstory, the Tono family secret, and what really happened in Shiki's childhood. As the conclusion of Tsukuhime, I found myself much more invested in these routes than the far side routes. I recommend you read the visual novel if these plot points interest you at all. Another reason to read the original Tsukuhime is that the original visual novel has multiple direct sequels that are worth experiencing. The direct sequel to Tsukuhime, Kagetsu Toya, is a more lighthearted visual novel that takes place a year after the Arcuid route and wraps up a few loose ends. From what I've read so far, it delivers its story in a unique way for a visual novel, and honestly is a really cozy read if you like the original. The direct sequel to Kagetsu Toya is Melty Blood, which I'd imagine most of you are interested in. Something I want to point out that might be a big issue for some people is that the original Tsukuhime is an eroge visual novel. Since Tsukuhime is a little old and outdated, you can't skip any of these age scenes and the writing can get pretty egregious and taboo. This is a completely valid deal breaker for some people and if this is the case I suggest you just read the manga instead. Now that we've addressed why you should read Tsukuhime, let's talk about how. It's actually really easy. If you go to readsukuhi.me, all you have to do is press the download button and then you're done. It's that easy. Hopefully with this video you were able to pick up and enjoy Tsukuhime. If this video helped you, feel free to like, subscribe, do all that stuff. You know, keep it real. If you like Melty Blood, hit me up on Twitch. I plan on streaming that game a lot. I'm super excited for that game. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention. Make sure you stay away from that Tsukuhime anime. Don't.